At first glance, you might think you're looking at a Diamond DA42, but the dead giveaway is the gull wing doors. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Diamonds Factory at Wiener Neustadt in Austria. Behind me is a DA52. Now this is a new twin that Diamond has in certification, and it's kind of a combination of the existing DA42 twin and the DA50, a large cabin single that Diamond proposed a few years ago. This airplane is faster, carries up to six or seven people, and it's larger. We're going to take a little test stop in this, but first here's Diamond's chief test pilot, Ingmar Meyerbuch, to tell us a little bit about it. With the 52, we, our primary goal is to have, uh, regarding weight, we have more payload, what we need for more passengers, uh, compared to the 42, which was the basis for this aircraft, uh, we could um, carry four people, now we can carry up to seven people and this aircraft must have more payload and it shall have also um, um, better range which needs a uh, bigger fuel tank so in total we have designed it regarding the, the weight limits so to, to allow all these uh, targets. So we have chosen a, a, a new variant of the already certified and proven engine the Austro engine uh, AE300. The variant, uh, variant means in this case we have uh, increased uh, the power by uh, 5 to 10 percent takeoff power and also the max continuous power has increased uh, in all altitudes, so from ground to maximum altitude which will be uh, at least 20,000 feet at the moment, this is our target. Uh, we've taken off from uh, Wiener Neustadt in the DA-52 and I can tell you one thing right away, the cabin is noticeably wider because I'm having to lean forward and lean in, so there's a lot more room in this cabin. Than Ingmar, uh, you've, uh, we've demonstrated engine outs, we've been fooling around shutting engines down left and right. First of all, the DA-52 is noticeably less draggy, so it will fly uh, at the same speeds as the DA-42 on, uh, with less power. Um, how about cruise speeds? Uh, we took it to a high cruise, typically uh, almost well, over 200 knots. Just check the cruise performance at uh 12,000 feet at, um, at not the highest weight but uh, uh, medium weight and we have seen thousand uh, we have seen at 12,000 feet we have seen uh, 210 knots through airspeed uh, in the average uh, now typically you're probably going to run this at about 170 to 180 knots and uh, that's about what six gallons per side exactly six gallons no right. engine uh, and if you extrapolate to the maximum weight which is uh, 2,200 kilograms uh, you can expect still uh, a cruising speed through airspeed in this altitude and uh, higher of uh, slightly above 200 knots and uh, we're lightweight here with about 17 to 1750 1750 kg, 1750 kg yeah. so uh, typically the airplane's going to be heavier it's probably going to be 1900 or 2000 kg so that's going to knock a little bit of that speed off but not much uh, climb rates the initial climb rate 1100 feet then we climb to 12,000 feet holding that climb rate even uh, picking it up a little bit Single engine climb, uh, let's talk a little bit about that. We shut down the left, we shut down the right. Uh, it's bumpy here, so we didn't get really good numbers, but uh, we saw as little as 250, but as much as 900. Yeah, so we, we can say in the average we have around 500 feet per minute, a little bit more single engine climb performance at 12,000 feet, so between 12,000 and 30,000 feet. And uh, it, it will climb on one engine up to 18,000 feet. This is already um, proven. And the shutdown procedure for the engine couldn't be simpler. Just flip off the master switch. Auto feather, um, pull the throttle back and you're secured. You don't have to shut off the uh, fuel. The ECU does that for you. To bring the engine back, switch on the master switch. It automatically unfeathers. It has an accumulator. Starts the engine up. Let it run at idle for a few minutes to warm it up. You got your engine back. Very simple. Yes. Seats in this airplane, uh, we saw the mock-up at uh, Aero. It does have six seats, 
and those rear seats or the orange full size seats are not kiddie seats either. When this airplane is uh, finally configured, uh, it'll carry up to 90 gallons of fuel, is that right? Around it, yeah. We aim it at this amount, yeah. So, according to my calculations on the weight and balance, roughly, with four people in here, you got about at least a thousand mile range and plenty of baggage. At, at least, at least, yeah. Uh, we expect rather with, uh, with uh, all seats uh, full with persons, we, I would expect 1,200 nautical miles. And that'd be about uh, at about 175 knots, 189? Yeah, 180, mm -hmm. uh, 185 maybe. Uh, it's on the altitude and if you want to carry oxygen or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.